Whether it's the holidays, spring break, or summer vacation time, traveling to exciting destinations is always fun, but can also take a toll on your pocketbook. Travel reward cards can help you earn free flights or hotel stays. Other card perks help cut costs too. Free check baggage is the most popular according to a creditcards.com poll. Many cards also come with rental car insurance, travel insurance, priority boarding, and even free companion tickets on airlines. But you need to weigh the value of the rewards and perks against the card fees and program restrictions, such as blackout dates. You often see on, on airline sites or credit issuer sites points to get to this destination or that destination, but it doesn't mean it's carte blanche for everywhere. It's certainly not uh, at all times of the year or even all times of the day, so you may be limited on your choices, but uh, not all points are created equal and not all points are earned equally. Of course, watching reward points increase every month only makes sense if you pay off your credit card balance every month. Reward cards tend to charge higher interest than other types of cards, and that interest cost may cancel out the value of any rewards you get. If you're carrying a balance, the least of your worries is, is how many miles are you getting or when can you redeem your flights. So before you apply for another enticing airline or travel rewards credit card, ask yourself a few questions about your travel habits. How many trips will I take in a year for pleasure? And what are the approximate costs? Will I always check a bag when I travel? Estimate those costs. How many cars will I pay to rent in a year? How much will I pay in fees and interest on this card in a year? These questions will help you determine the true out-of-pocket versus the possible rewards you could actually redeem. In summary, I don't want people to open up cards just because they give them frequent flyer miles or points. Figure out the right tool for your tool belt. What's the best for you as far as annual fees or application fees? What's the best limit? What's the lowest interest rate? Best grace period? What's best for your financial goals? That's what we want people to search for.